So my name's Steve Lark. Um, I'm a partner in the consulting part of Deloitte. I live in Warwick uh, with my wife and three children, and I also have two cats. I think my first memory of perhaps feeling something that I might now recognise as uh, being depression was probably in my early 20s. I remember walking along a beach in Cornwall. Beautiful sunny day, life was great. Um, and yet I remember looking out to sea and just feeling uh, very sad uh, and crying for no particular reason that I could think of at all. I had so many things to be thankful for compared to a lot of people. So I guess I was in denial that and almost felt guilty about the idea that I could be depressed in my circumstances. I think the time when things really came to a head for me was in early 2015. I was working from home one day. I had a deadline of some stuff that I had to get completed. And I remember I was just staring at my screen. I just couldn't do what I needed to do. Um, I was crying and I remember my wife coming into my study and just sort of seeing me like that and saying, look, yeah, we need to get some help. And I guess at that point I realized I am gonna to have to do something about this. So that was really the start of my journey to recovery because I felt actually just by saying I do need some help, that was really how I started to then get better. One of the things that's probably helped me in my journey over the last few years is that I've benefited from things like the inside out movement that was established by Rob Stevenson, which is to specifically encourage leaders to um, be open about their own mental health and to therefore really create a conversation that helps to tackle the stigma. And I find that as a mental health champion that I do find it helps people hopefully that they feel that they can connect to me because I've got something in common perhaps to where they are at that point in time and that they can see that it's safe to share their story because it hasn't impacted my career, it shouldn't impact their career and actually we can speak openly about it just as we would about any other problem. I think now as a leader, I'm probably more aware of thinking about what might be behind a particular situation. Certainly for me, having an experience with depression and having to be aware of uh, managing that on a regular basis is something that um, affects who I am as a leader. I think it's given me more um, understanding. It's also given me a level of connecting with, uh, with clients, with um, the people that we work with. I think one of the things that's important for me now is to sort of think about how I can stay well as, as much as is possible. And obviously it, it's not always possible because these conditions are things that can be unpredictable. But I think there are things that we can do and things that I do to try and look after myself more. I do sometimes do things like mindfulness because I think sometimes that can help in, if, if you're in a situation where you're feeling perhaps particularly stressed or anxious. I do enjoy playing tennis still, so I try to play tennis a couple of times a week. The other change I've made is that in the evening I make sure that at a certain point in the evening I'll put my work phone onto airplane mode and then that will be it until the next morning. If there was something really urgent of course I would uh, plan that in and I would deal with that but I do think that we do all need to have some sort of downtime and I think it's really important for us as leaders to, to model by example around those things. If you're somebody who is perhaps struggling at the moment, feeling that you're <clears throat> on your own to solve a problem can be really difficult. So I think just thinking about how we communicate with people so that people don't feel obliged to have to work in a way that's going to be really detrimental to their health. I think the other thing as well is actually having the honest conversations with clients, being prepared to speak up if uh, a client is behaving in a way that's really causing a problem for somebody. Whenever I've done that, I've actually seen that clients have responded very well to that. If someone's watching this and is perhaps the, the message is really resonating with them and they're thinking actually I feel a bit like that at the moment in terms of how Steve described it, I, I would absolutely encourage people to, to get help. The first step for that is perhaps recognising the situation. It's great that we've got the mental health champions because I think you know our role, we're not expert counsellors or therapists but we can, we can listen and we can relate the challenges to the workplace and we can help really to hopefully reinforce the fact that in Deloitte it is okay to not be okay and that we can support each other 
um, and that we can really help one another to be as healthy as possible. Thank you.